Well, joining me now, uh, Gerald Seegers, Tax Director at PwC. Great to have you with us, uh, Gerald. So, so what's changed? Um, you're, you're talking about a bit more restraint. Yeah, I think as we almost kind of feel that we're at a crossroads now at the moment. So we, it's almost kind of saying it's time to listen. I think we also need to now consider there seems to be rules for the executives. Now we're starting to listen. We need to start doing something about what the public's concerned around executive pay. Uh, and, of course, we've seen some global um, uh, changes happening, particularly around the regulatory and also the release of our new King 4 later this year. And they've taken some big, bold steps, I think, and may even be ahead of the, the, the global market when we look at what kind of guidelines we're looking at. Because I think if we don't do this now, then it may be taken out of our hands. Uh, government stepping in, basically. Theresa May in the UK is already uh, yes, hinting at that. I, is our government poised to, to regulate? I, no, I don't think. We've always taken the view, and I think it's the correct view, not to regulate. We've always have gone along the route with, with King 4, or now King 4, which says, look, these are the best practices, these are the guidelines that we want you to follow, and those what we need, and in a more consultative and inclusive basis. And that seems to have worked more effectively. And we've seen it, for example, in our financial services during the financial crisis, and and post-financial crisis. Uh, explain what's different about King 4. As far as I know, we've, these um, salaries have to be publicized. Uh, that's led to some consequences, maybe more resentment uh, uh, from the public, things like yeah. that. Look, there are two big differentials here. Well, there, there are probably quite a few, actually. The first of all is that there's got to be a closer collaboration from the Remuneration Committee and the Social and Ethics Committee. And that's quite 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 profound in that what we are seeing is that so social and development goals need to be starting to come into play. Mm. Okay? So it's not only just about the employees and the share, uh, shareholders or the executives, but there's a much wider community that we need to consider. The other one is that uh, King 4 wants us to adopt best practice. And best practice means the best possible outcome for all stakeholders. Yes. So we can't have the unions on the one hand arguing, well, that's what we want, because they may not be best for shareholders, for example, or maybe even the wider community. So we're going to have to. So they're challenging us to say we need to find a middle ground. Um, so we're very consultative. The UK, for example, have gone very legislative. Mm -hmm. so, and Theresa May, as you said yesterday, already promising that we're going to see more legislation. The, the big question has always been, how do you set pay for somebody who may be crucial to the fortunes of a company uh, and, and all its workers, um, or to somebody who may be uh, dead wood, in fact, uh, you know, and, and be there despite yeah. the, the hard work of the workers? How do you set that? She's talking about uh, a ratio between the CEO and the average worker. Yeah. Is, is that a good place to start? Well, that's a, it's a, to me, it's a bit meaningless, but it does pose, it's a, it's a reference point. It says, look, so if your gap is a thousand times or your gap is seven times, who's the better? Um, you know, to me, that's just a measure, but it's not the measure. The measure is more about saying, for example, in the US, the gap may be a thousand times. Yeah. But they'd have low poverty, the unemployment is a lot lower, the companies are performing, shareholders are happy, um, and you may go into Japan where that, uh, that gap is seven times, now they're better, but their poverty is higher, it, you know, and, and, and so on. South Africa, our gap is... So how do you deal with it? Well, exactly. So the setting of pay, once again, is not necessarily the issue, because again, that seems to focus on the top end. I think where we talk about the crossroads is, well, what about the greater community and the, our, our employees? How are we going to lift their standard of living to a level what we would then call a decent work and pay? And that came out and spelt out quite quite um, um, openly in the, in the, in sustain the, by the United Nations when they adopted the Sustainable Development Goals. And King 4 was saying, look, we need to take cognizance mm -hmm. of this. And that's a start in the right direction. Gerald, don't you think people will, however, still demand maybe a ceiling or, or something like that? We, we're heading there. We have to talk about it. And, and then the question is, what do you do with people like... Chris Becker, I think, wasn't taking a, a salary, salary yeah. and, and taking share options and earning an absolute fortune. Do, do you say so, that that's wrong? How do you deal no, with that? No, we don't say it's wrong, but we do say what is the best out possible outcome. So uh, Chris Becker, for example, said, look, give, I'm giving up my salary. I'll take shares in my, in my company in lieu of, of a salary because I really am back in the, 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 the company. Uh, and we saw what happened to NASPES. Today, Shell is happy uh, and probably most of our pension funds are extremely happy with it. Um, and does it deserve what he gets? Absolutely. Is that outrageous and is it excessive? No, given where we, where, where what we've seen. The question here is, well, what has NASPAS, for example, done to the greater community? And that's where I think there's this wave that's coming to the wider community that's saying, 
we've either had enough or I want you to do something that's more applicable yeah. to us. Okay, so I like your, your focus, start with the workers, then we'll, we'll talk about it. I think that's where the change has gone, yeah. Thank you so much, Gerald Seegers, a tax director at PwC. International business news now, Philip Hammond has...